Hello everybody, uh, this is Sean Crowley again, uh, week 3 of the 56 class boys and girls in primary schools. Um, this week we have Liam Welch and doing the exercise and, and uh, Dara Crowley doing the skill challenge. All you need guys is a football, a few ball, two balls, um, you know, it could be a golf ball, a slitter, small balls that you can use like that for the exercise. And I'd say maybe watch the first few minutes before you do the exercise itself so you can get used to the... Of, of how we're going to move through them because one side will be exercise the other side will be skills so just watch a minute or two then go back to the start and do it again if you want to do it that way so the first thing we're going to do today is just jumping jacks um aim to do 10, 10 to 20 of them count yourself whenever you feel comfortable 20 being the most and 10 being the least you can do in, in the few seconds that you're doing it so when liam is finished here now we're just going to go one legged hop over the markers in the middle so like i said to you to start have a quick look through this put down a few jumpers or corns or anything like that to use as markers in the middle uh this time we're just using one ball throwing it in the air and catching it above our head so it could be any small ball that you have at home do one side 10 times and then we're going to do the opposite side 10 times that's it and onto the left side then so the same again just throw it over your head and try and catch the the ball it can be a pair of socks as well or anything that you have at home um just catch it above your head at all times and to make it more challenging then after this guys what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in the air and try and jump up off the ground and catch it so we'll do five on either side that's it up as high as you can go and then when we're finished this guys we're going to go one legged hop uh back over the five five markers we have in the ground so you can do this anywhere in your kitchen or sitting room um anywhere at home or bedroom just hop through them then one legged when we get to the far side then we're just going to go st straight into um uh, the squats and uh, aim for 10 to 20 squats so as liam is doing the video keep looking forward um, try and keep your back straight if you can and just keep your knees try, don't try and move your knees too much um, try and keep them behind your toes so when you look down they're not way ahead of your feet um, when you're finished in this guys so aim for a minimum of 10 try and do as many as you can try and do 20 or you know in 30 seconds is what you're trying to go for don't go for much longer than 30 seconds anyway um, after this then we'll just take a break so you might be feeling a bit tired at this stage just take a break for 10 or 15 seconds before we go into the next thing the next thing we're going to do is go through the markers in the middle two legged hops so both feet together hopping over the five markers in the middle and um, Liam will show you there in the demonstration here now So it's two legged hops after you get a breather that's it and we get to the far side we're going to pick up a football and we're going to go soloing um, try again to do 10 20 as many as you can in 30 seconds and also try and use both sides so you know don't be just using one side um i didn't tell him this now in the video when i was recording but the next time I'll, I'll make sure he's practicing the next time to do both i was only telling him to do one side so if you can at all do five on either side or ten on either side do as many as you can for the 30 seconds and when you're finished that then we go two-legged hop back over the, the cones again in the middle that's it when you get to fast i know we're going to plank position but we're going to go down the ground so we'll take a break then we go down the ground um in a press up position arms straight and we're going to hold a plank keep your hips up off the ground make sure it's kind of from your from your feet to your shoulders that it's very straight and um after a while if, you, if you're feeling comfortable um we're going to try and tap the opposite shoulder with our hand so we're going to bring a hand up and try and up, t touch the opposite shoulder and maybe do five and or five or ten um of these is loads and again don't go for any longer than 30 seconds and whatever you feel comfortable try not to be moving too much either this is very hard now so you know just see if you can do one or two of them even um it would be fine after that then guys we'll take a break again for a few seconds if you're feeling tired at any stage just take a breather in between the exercises so you know we recommend maybe 10 20 seconds and then you get ready to go again next thing we're going to do is we'll sprint through the markers in the middle um as fast as you can go one legged over each one to the opposite side and when we get to the upside, then we're going to pick up the football again. So Liam is going to go through them as fast as he can now after a break. He'll just sprint through the, the markers in the middle. And we'll pick up the football. And we're going to hop the ball off the ground, throw it in the air and catch it. So, so jump up off the ground and catch it, hop it, throw it in the air, jump up and catch it. So hop it, jump up, catch it above your head if you can. And maybe do try and do 10 of them, 15 of them, 20 of them, as many as you can again um, in the 30 seconds. 
And when we've this done, then again, guys, we're going to sprint back through the cones in the middle. So keep going at the, this exercise above the head. Jump up and try and catch it. That's it. Just a hop, quick hands, and jump up as high as you can. And when we're finished that, then we'll put the football down. We're going to sprint back to the opposite side. Keep going there now as many as you can in 30 seconds. Like I said, try and get 10, 15, 20, as many as you can do. So we sprint back over the cones and this time we're going to go into a lunge. So ideally guys, you'll put your hands in your hips and keep your head looking forward and go as far as you can. We're going to do the one leg. So we're going to try, try and do one leg for as many as you can go. Aim to try and get to 10. Um, but five is okay. If, you're, if your leg is very, very tired after five, you can switch off to the other side. Or if you want, do every second leg. You don't have to do the same side the whole time. So Liam is trying to do 10 on one leg. And it's important also to keep the back leg stuck to the ground, that you're not moving the back leg that, that's behind you always, that is always touching the ground in the same position. So now we're going to move on to the other leg and try to do 10. After this, now your leg should be a bit tired. So make sure to take a good break. And keep looking forward and uh, the hands and the hip as well guys just for uh, stability is a bit easier keep going as many as you can try and do 10 on either side so we'll take a break now at this stage and as we, as you can see we're only using a small area so find a small area in the house and um try and do maybe two or three sets of this so you know of the exercise go through the video once and try and do it another second time if you can and if you did it every day for the next week before the next uh, PE class it'd be great so this time we're going to go sideways in a round, fast feet, small steps, and try not to touch the cones or the jerseys or anything you have in the ground. This time we're going to pick up two balls, two of the small balls, and we're going to go juggling them. So just make sure we're throwing them into the opposite hands. As Liam is doing there, you can see he's using a golf ball and he's using a slitter, whatever you have available to you at home. Um, and if you're feeling very good, and this is easy, try and throw in three balls and try and do as many as you can in for um, 30 seconds. So we're aiming for 15 to 20 without dropping the ball that's it you can see just keep your eye on it this time now we're going to throw the balls down and we're going to go back around the cones or the, the poles in the middle we're using bibs and hurleys as fast as you can and the last exercise guys we're going to do is the press up position so this is the last one we're going to do in this set so you're going to put the knees on the ground to make it easier for yourself arms wide apart and try and go down as low as you can if this is easy guys try and do five if this is very easy try and take the knees up off the ground and we'll try and do a full normal press up now this is hard so ideally use the knees if your back is sore or anything like that and just see if you can do 10 so try and do five or to 10 if you can and uh, count them out after this then liam is finished so thanks a minute to liam welch excellent um at demonstrating this week the exercises and we're just going to do a simple uh, skills challenge every second side with the hurling ball if you have one to go outside strike in the air and catch it and see who can do the most in a minute so we're gonna have a challenge in this for the week see how many times you can do in a minute how many of them you can throw in the air and catch it with the hurley um and the next exercise after this then we're going to strike off the wall five yards apart so do this in your own time these are the two challenges we're going to set out for you so strike off the wall left side right side as many as you can in a minute and what you what i want you to do is if you get someone to take a video of you in the minute as many as you can tag a uh, cock ga coaching on twitter and um we'll retweet the the videos of you so that'll be a good challenge for the week to 